I did a video not too long ago on how to get a raw wood finish and it was really popular. You'll probably want to check that out after this video, but I knew I had to do it again. So I found these two pieces. I think it's a buffet or it could be a TV console and a bar. It's re actually a really cool piece, but they didn't have any finish on them. They just had this orange color, so I didn't have to do any stripping like in the other video. But I just got my handy dandy household Clorox and um, I've got a commercial spray bottle there and I'm just going to do half and half, half water and half bleach. So it's a good idea to have some towels on hand or some paper towels and be able to clean up your messes when you're spraying the piece. You'll want to spray the entire piece lightly, but you don't want to spray it so much that you have drips coming down because as the bleach dries, those drips are going to be left in the finish. And maybe that's a cool look you're going for, but I wanted a nice even finish, which is another reason why I mix half bleach and half water together instead of just doing straight bleach. Um, and why I use the spray bottle, because I can spray it on lightly and then let it dry spray it on let it dry spray it on let it dry and i'll do this over the course of a few days and have it sitting out in the garage so that i'm never just pouring a bunch of bleach on it it's just getting a mist of bleach and then i'll go about my day do my stuff come out in the garage again spray it go about my day do my stuff and come out in the garage again and spray it I think I did about three coats of bleach on this one, but in my other video, I had to do about six coats of bleach. So you can see right here, the metal on the hinges is kind of retaining moisture, and I don't know if it's because it was out in the garage or what, but those were just not drying very well. It did eventually dry, but I had to open up the garage door and let some of the sun in on it. Now, I, I don't care too much about the back of this piece, um, so I wasn't wiping it up, but that, those are the marks I was talking about that can happen. The drips if you don't um, go along with a towel or something. Ta-da! Here is the piece after I've bleached it about three times, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think it's really beautiful. I wanted to do some bonus footage at the end of this video because one of the questions that I get asked the most frequently is how do I find a solid wood piece of furniture? And I do intend to do a video on that, just completely on that, and I'll take you guys with me and we'll go thrifting and I'll show you how to find a good solid wood piece. But I did in this video just want to go over the basics. So I have a few pieces in my shop. And the thing that you want to look at, so you can look at the front of this piece, and that's great. It's great to look at the front of the piece, but it's really hard to tell if this piece would be solid wood or not, right? Just a little nightstand. So what you want to do is you want to go around to the back of the piece, and you're going to look at the top, you know, this part, right? The top of the piece, and this right here is solid wood. You can see that it is, um, doesn't have like that particle board texture. Um, I'm not, so again, I'm not looking at this part. I'm looking at this part. And now this particular piece has a veneer on the top. And I've talked about veneer in my videos before, but veneer is like a thin a piece of oftentimes it'll be wood or it'll be a really durable um, type of material that they put on top and it's about the thickness of a penny and so this piece would not be great for um, bleaching the top uh, because the veneer is like this laminate type stuff and so that just wouldn't work but um, you can see here though that the that the top part underneath that would be good now here is another spot. So this particular one is such a good one to look at because the sides aren't solid wood. Um, and the reason I can tell is I'll look at the side here 
And if you get really close, and I don't know if my camera will show you well enough, I'll take a picture and put it on here. But you can clearly tell uh, when you look at the side, this little strip is like a cardboard type material. And actually, this would be a terrible project for um, doing a bleached wood finish on. But this piece right here would be great. I can tell that it's solid wood um, just because I've been doing this for a long time from the front. But I'm going to show you how you can tell from the back if you haven't been doing this a long time. You just go around the back, again, just like what we did with the other little nightstand, and you can see so clearly this strip right here is solid wood, and this top is solid wood as well with no veneer. Remember that little penny thickness layer that was on top? There's no veneer on this. This would be such a great piece to do a raw wood finish on. Um, and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do a raw wood finish on that little nightstand that I have there. But I hope that um, that helps. Well, you guys are just going to get tons of bonus material in this video. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a whitewash on this exact piece that I just got done with so that you can see what the whitewash adds to it and decide if that's something that you want to try and you won't have to mess up your piece to do it. <laughs> so I'm just mixing half water and half whitewash. The exact whitewash that I'm using is the um, pickling whitewash from Minwax and I will um, put it in the comments the name of that. But stir it up and then you are going to get some paper towels and you'll just apply it like very similar to washing a dresser. You're just gonna be rubbing it on and then wiping it off, wipe, you know, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, you could do this um, even more diluted if you wanted to just give it a really light touch of white. Um, or you could do it full strength if you wanted to get an extremely whitewashed effect. I just really love this product. It's super easy to use. It's water-based, so you can add as much or as little water as you want. Um, and it's just a good color. It also uh, provides some protection to your piece, too. So a lot of you ask in the comments, well, how do I seal my wood piece after I'm done? And I don't seal, seal my pieces when they are just going to be that raw wood because if you add a top coat, it's definitely going to darken it up a little bit. And I just don't want to darken my pieces up. Plus, I like the look of the raw wood. I want it to look like raw wood. But the whitewash, um, the pickling whitewash from Minwax actually does have some moisture barrier to it, which is nice. Again, I've got a whole video on this um, exact technique too that you might want to watch after this one uh, where I do this um, exact technique to a dresser. And it turns out really nice. Here's the piece side by side. You can see on the left I've done the whitewash and on the right is just the bleach. I honestly like both looks and depending on what you're going for you might um, pick one or the other based on that room but I think at the end of the day I'd go with the natural on this particular piece so um, what's great is I can just sand it off if um, if I want to just stick with the natural so that may be what I do I did full strength on the top of the Minwax and I didn't really like that I will say but yeah all in all I think it was a good experiment <laughs> And you guys, I'm a small channel. Just send me a pic. I'll, I'll tell you whether or not it's solid wood or not. Um, I'd love it if you put, put stuff in the comments and we get like a whole community going on here. I would so love that. So don't ever be shy to reach out. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will be putting out more raw wood type videos in the future too. And it's one of my special finishes. And so 
I have lots of that material coming, so make sure you hit the notifications bell, and it means a lot to me if you guys subscribe, so, and thanks again for watching this video.